Hello students, welcome to West Bengal English Medium Guide. Today we are going to solve the chapter 13, Temperate Zone from class 5 geography book. We will solve the exercise and insight question answer from this chapter. So don't skip the video. Watch the video till end. Before we start requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications from the channel. If you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box and if you have any missed any videos then please check out the description box or playlist. So let's start temperate zone. At first we have some objective types question answer. Number A tick the correct answer. Number 1 the temperate zones have 3 seasons or 4 seasons or 6 seasons. The answer is 4 seasons. Number 2. The temperate grasslands have long thick grass been turned into fields in many places or animals like tigers and lions. So the answer is been turned into fields in many places. Number three, to hibernate means to fly to a warmer place, gather together in a group or slip through the winter. So the answer is slip through the winter. Number four, animal and plant life in the temperate zone is as varied as in the hot zone or less varied than the hot zone or almost non-existent so the answer is uh, as varied as in the hot zone next number five areas for uh, far away from the equator have a warm dry, dry climate very cold climate rain throughout the year so the answer is very cold climate. Now it's time to give the question answer. Number one, where are the temperate zones located? The temperate zones are found between the tropics and the arctic circle. Number two, what does the word temperate mean? What does it tell you about the zone? Temperate means neither hot nor too cold. This zone like the other zones found in both northern and southern hemisphere. Number three, what is the difference in climate between those areas that lie closer to the tropics and those that are away from the tropics? The areas that lie close tropics uh, are warmer and the areas away from the tropics are colder. Closer. Closer to the trop tropics, the areas that lie closer to the tropics are warmer and the areas away from the tropics are colder. Number 5. Name the different grasslands of the temperate zone. The different names of grasslands are Prairies of North America, Steppes of Eurasia, Pampas of South America, Belt of South Africa, Downs of Australia. Number 6. What are conifers? Conifers are tall straight trees with needle-like leaves. Number 7. How do fires help to renew the grasslands? Fires help in growing fresh grasses by warming up the soil and reducing leaf litter. Number 8. Describe how some animals and birds of the temperate zone behave in winter. Birds migrate to escape from the cold winter and some animals hibernate during winter next we have uh, some exercise we have some inside question answers from the chapter let's check number one describe the climate of the temperate zone neither too hot nor too cold warmer near the tropics in both hemispheres colder as we move away from equator desert climate in the arid regions less rain than hot zone has four distinct seasons summer winter spring autumn next describe the natural vegetations of the temperate zone grasslands grasses and acacia trees desert thorny plants or those with fleshy stems cactus deciduous trees that shed their leaves oak maple beech elm conifers Tall, straight, cone-bearing trees with needle-like leaves. Pine, far. Mediterranean. 
mixed vegetation deciduous conifers sequoia and bushes like lavender and rosemary number 3 name some animals of northern hemisphere bison grizzly bear elk that is a kind of deer giant panda carnivores that means meat eaters number 4 name some animals of southern hemisphere and ant eaters ant eaters uh, llamas alpacas anaconda uh, anacondas kangaroos koala bears and wallabies number 5 describe about people of the temperate zone in northern hemisphere farming mechanized farming in developed areas that grow large amounts of wheat hence this region is called granaries of the world people who live and work in cities next southern hemisphere nomadic population in arid regions farmers and ranchers people who live and work in cities number 6 name some regions of grassland where is not much rain central asia central europe and central america number 7 how does the soil in the grassland receive its nutrients the soil in the grassland receive its nutrients from the growth and decay of grass and grass roots next question has already discussed uh, so i move to the another question short note on prairies of north america steppes of eurasia pampas of south america belt of south africa downs of australia you can find all this short notes from the book if you want then please take the screenshot this is the short note of prairies of north america this is a short note of steppes of eurasia let's take the screenshot this is a short note of pampas of south america short note of wild of south africa and the last one downs of australia okay adaptation of creatures in the grasslands number 8 the main food available being grass the animals here have digestive systems that can process the grass number b the height of the grass allows them to see their enemies from a distance so many animals are fast runners number d the paws of the small animals are suited to dig burrows to escape from dangers number d birds migrate to escape from the cold winter and some animals hibernate during winter next where does the grasslands of eurasia spread from the grasslands of eurasia spread from eastern chinese across mongolia and russia to europe uh, next where about the vegetation of campus sorry campus of south africa the climate in the region is warm and humid in the humid areas the natural vegetation has a variety of grasses which are good for grazing animals next name the crops found in the prairies of north america wheat rye and oats are grown in prairies of north america next write any four factors that affect the environment in all regions the four factors that affect affect the environment in all natural regions are since this area is very good for farming people have overused the land for agriculture overgrazing by animals has also exposed the soil the exposed soil blow away blows away in the strong wind and also causes huge dust storms where there is no rain efforts are being made to protect these animals that used to live in large numbers here before what a granary is place where grain is stored is called granary what do you mean by hibernation and migration sleeping through winter is called hibernation moving from one place to another is called migration so we solved the chapter 13 from class 5 geography book 
temperate zone we solved the inside question answer and exercise question answers from this chapter so don't forget to like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications from the channel so that's all for today see you soon with a new video till then take care and bye